want to see what the lighting is like. You sure you want to flip that thing? That camera might break. <laughs> you think it's going to break? <laughs> Good morning, my name is Carly West. I'm the curator of the Kootenay Brown Pioneer Village. And this morning we are here with Mr. Hank Planter, who is a veteran of the Second World War with the Canadian Forces. And it's Tuesday morning, the 29th of April, 2014. And we are taking this video of Mr. Planter because he was a, an important part of Canadian history of the military and uh, so forth. I'll be over here, Mr. Planter, and then we'll... Oh, what, I'll put my glasses on. They'll be on the mister there. Yes, <laughs> sir, yes. <laughs> Mr. Planter, what uh, military unit did you serve with during the Second World War? We were in the 1st Special Service Force. Yes. 3rd Company, 3rd Regiment, 3rd right. Platoon. Now you're with the Devil's Brigade as well? I was with the Devil's Brigade, yes. Mm -hmm. We were named that by the German soldiers over there. I don't think they liked us. Wow. We used to paste a little picture of a black devil on their forehead. Wow. And that is where we got the name of the Black Devils. Mm -hmm. We were night fighters. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Wow. So where did you serve overseas, sir? I served El Suwili. Mm -hmm. And the Aleutian Islands. Oh, in Alaska. In Alaska. Uh -huh. But by the time we got there, there was no, the Japanese had all left. Mm -hmm. All that was left there was a hungry dog, and he was hungry. Mm -hmm. So we fed him. Oh, that's good. Took him back to the U.S. with us. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you, so you participated in two uh, war fronts, you know, that the European War and the, the War in the Pacific. Uh, we moved through the, yes, we were, mm -hmm. the European and yeah. the Pacific. Mm -hmm. So did you go, you went to Italy first. What years were you over fighting in, in Italy, do you remember? Well, during the war from 19, I would imagine in 40s of whatever. Mm -hmm. right. Joined the army in 19, I think, 1940. 1940, wow. How old were you at that point? 20. You were 20 years old, wow. Well, it was either join up or get drafted, one or the other. Mm -hmm. There was no choice. Yeah. So that was the reason reason why you enlisted. You, had a, you wanted to help out and everything, so, yeah. Well, we did our, what we had to do. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what battles did you participate in, in in Italy? Do you remember? What battles did we go through? Yeah. <laughs> we were the first troops into Rome. Wow. Mm -hmm. So all the battles that came before that, mm -hmm. Anzio, Wherever you'd have to look it up in the history, I kind of forget where all this, but I know we were the first troops into Rome. Wow. So you helped liberate, liberate Rome, that's fantastic. We did, yes. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what were some of your more memorable experiences in the war? What do you remember about the war that you'd like to share with us this morning? In the war, or? Yes. I think the most did. Memorable experience was dropping out of an aeroplane. Never have been in one before. Uh -huh. At around 3,000 feet. Wow. 
But when you get into the war, there are all kinds of different experiences. I think uh, getting shot at was a very memorial experience. Mm -hmm. I don't know just how you explain that when somebody's shooting at you. Mm -hmm. It's very frightening. What were some of the living conditions like in the war in terms of shelter? Living conditions? Living conditions. Living conditions? Mm -hmm. It was all different kind. Well, we mostly lived in a foxhole, in a hole in the ground, mostly. Mm -hmm. That's where we were, unless we were in the mountains, which we were mountain troops also. Right. Then there was, you just lived wherever you were at. Mm -hmm. Under rock or wherever. Mm -hmm. And you did the best you could. You, you had a, a tarp that you could cover over in the rain, and that was about it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it must have gotten pretty cold there during the winter, I would imagine. You got very cold, but you. You did what you had to do. Mm -hmm. You could build a little fire, even if somebody was shooting at you. Mm -hmm. And you helped your buddies out. If he got colder than you, you give him you give him your jacket to keep him warm. Mm -hmm. That was your duty to do as a staff sergeant to keep your men comfortable. Mm -hmm. What was the the food like? Did you have? Uh, we had the very best of food from the American Army. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Yeah. Far better than the British or the Canadians got. Uh -huh. They were forever trying to bum rations off of us. Uh -huh. We were very well treated in the American Army. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So. Did you make a, uh, a lot of friends with your army buddies over the years that you kept in touch with? Well, during the war, yes, we had a lot of friends. Uh -huh. Made quite a few friends in the U.S., yes. Uh -huh. Which is uh, natural. Mm -hmm. When you were, it was 50% Canadian and 50% Americans, so your friends were half Americans. Mm -hmm. You either got along with them or you didn't. Mm -hmm. I got along with my 90% of them. That's great. It would always be one that you could not get along with, regardless of where you're at. Mm -hmm. Did you keep in touch with some of your friends after the war, the ones that made it through the war? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Some of my friends down in Helena, Montana. Right. And the odd one in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's been quite a long time ago. There, yeah. A lot of them have passed away, so yeah. it's kind yeah. of not getting together too much anymore. Yeah. Well. And I think we still have a reunion every year in Helena, Montana. Mm -hmm. So have you gone to some of these reunions? I went to quite a few during mm. when we first got back. Right. But not lately. Yeah. I haven't been down there. Yeah, it's hard to get around and all that. So we don't get around too much and mm. most of our guys are long gone underground. Mm-hmm. We're getting old. Mm-hmm. Well, we appreciate what you did for us and all that, so that's fantastic. So you said you were also on the Aleutian Islands in Alaska? The what? You were also stationed at the Aleutian Islands? We were in the, we were the first into the Aleutian Islands. Yes. Right. We went in there by a rubber boat. Uh-huh. Of a liberty ship or something that came up from, I think, uh, on the west coast. We sailed up along the coast and into the Aleutian Islands. Right. But by the time we got there, there was only one hungry dog left. Mm -hmm. The rest had all left. Right. So it was just a matter of securing the place and making it safe. I what? Said. 
I imagine it was just making the place safe is what you're doing at that point. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So was it? But that was uh, quite an experience for a young fellow just off the farm. Uh-huh. Whatever. Yeah. So were you raised around here, Mr. Plander? Mm-hmm. Were you raised around here in the Pincher Creek area? Yeah, I was born in Pincher Creek. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And I was raised just in a little house just a few hundred yards west of here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Wow. So you've been active in the Legion since you've come back from the war, haven't you? Yes, I go to the Legion quite often. Yeah. On a Friday. Well, yeah. I've got quite a few buddies in there. Uh -huh. Do you ever, you know of Jack Knight, Jack Furman? They were uh -huh. in our outfit. Oh, okay. Were, I've heard of the names, yes. Jack Knight is still in outfit, I think. Uh -huh. Unless he died, I'm not too sure. Yeah. So have you ever gone back to Italy or the Lucian Islands since the war? The visit where you had fought? In there is not a damn thing in the Lucian Islands that you want to go back to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty remote countryside, I know that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it was nothing but tundra uh -huh. and barren grounds. Uh -huh. I didn't even see a caribou up there. He yeah. left too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to go back there. It's pretty remote countryside. But it was an interesting go while we were there. Mm hmm Have you been back to Italy since the war? Yeah, we did go back to mm -hmm. Italy. Yeah. There was a tour. They took us on a tour back through there. Mm -hmm. When was that on? Oh, just yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. Wow. So you got to see some of the sites you had seen during the war then, some yeah. of the places. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you left the, the, uh, the army after the war, did the army offer any uh, services or training for you or anything like, like job training or or compensation or anything like that? Well, I guess they did, but uh. and I forget what the hell they must have done. I imagine they did. Uh -huh. That's what they were supposed to do, in a way. Mm -hmm. I kind of forget what. It's been quite a while ago. Yeah, that's a long time ago, so way back in the 40s. That's a hell of a while ago. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any other memories of the war that you'd like to share with us this morning? Other what? Other memories of the war or your participation in it or anything that you'd like to share with us this morning? <laughs> I think our, I think one of my first big experience was to get on a plane, which I'd never been on before. Right. It took us up to 3,000 feet and the order came stand up, hook up, mm -hmm. right turn, and forward march, mm -hmm. to the wall. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you drop down 3,000 feet, mm -hmm. which is quite an experience for a young guy off the farm, sure. Yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Some the, the odd one did not, would not uh, drop out of that plane. Mm -hmm. I think there was one in our plane load, and he did not, he would not go. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, the rest of you did. Well... Yeah. And this is over in Italy, was it? No, that was in Helen, Montana. Oh, I see, in the crowd. we took our first training. Yeah, that's train. where we were. Yeah. That's where we first got to meet the Americans, which yeah. in mm -hmm. Fort William Henry Harrison. Right. Wow. 
and that's where we took our parachute training mm -hmm. and whatever other training we got. Uh, mm -hmm. We were nicknamed the Devil's Brigade over in Italy mm -hmm. because we were night fighters. And we usually had our faces darkened, mm -hmm. and we were not a nice bunch. Well, you were doing your duty. Well, you could imagine you be in the enemy, and you go out next morning, and you find your buddy out there dead mm -hmm. with a black whatever on his forehead. Mm -hmm. I think you get the name that that is why we were called the Devil's Brigade. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Carol, do you have any questions? There anything I missed, or Pauline? Still no. Mm -hmm. You could ask if he has some memorabilia. Oh yes. Do you have any old memorabilia or photographs or? Uh, anything that... Where's that son of mine? He must have some photographs around here somewhere. Yeah, it's all, the... all over the place? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be great. Yeah. <clears throat> There's got to be some photographs around yeah. here somewhere uh, yeah. in the Army. You'd have been a young fella back oh, then. Oh, there's the photo album there. Ah. <laughs> I was just looking at that up there. Oh my goodness. What's that, Carol? There's a special services picture there. Yeah. Lyle has just handed me this big, impressive red photo album of Hanks. And so, we'll bring it forward here. And have a look at some of the stuff. There's quite a lot of it in there. Yes. Yes, I, there's pictures of the Air Force Base, uh, Fort William uh, Henry Harrison. Air, Fort William Henry Harrison. Yeah, and that's in Helena, Montana, isn't it? In Helena, Montana. Yes. It's about a mile southwest of the Fort William Henry Harrison. Oh, and there's pictures of the parachuting here. Oh, my goodness. We'll be scanning these in. Yeah. If we can borrow them. There's several pictures of the uh, of the guys here. So the, there's the parachutes that we we're just talking about. Oh, no. yeah. okay. oh yes, and here they are landing on the fields. I was never in an airplane until I said yeah. load up, uh -huh. and then took us out to uh -huh. around three thousand feet. He said stand up, uh -huh. hook up. Mm -hmm. Well, here you are going over some. Uh, fences and doing the, the training and all that in the snow too. We were trained in on skis mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah. We were paratroopers, ski troopers, right. And whatever. So you took the skis with you to Italy and you used skis over there, did you? I don't know, maybe they did. I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> We never were on skis over there. Oh, okay. We were. The mission was to take out the heavy water blast in Norway. <coughs> Pardon me. Their mission was to take out the heavy water blast in Norway. Oh, I see. In That's Norway. The... Yeah. <coughs> yeah. These are fantastic uh, photographs of the of the training over in, in Helena. Oh, here they are on their skis in the snow. Yes, we did a lot of skiing back on mm -hmm. the mountains there west of Helena. Uh -huh. Wow. And here you are with the, the firearms and uniforms. And here are some of your, the people you uh, served. Some of my buddies. Yeah, some of your friends that you served overseas with in the training. Gathered lots of good photographs together. This is fantastic. Well, we always had a photographer with us, eh? mm -hmm. and most of us had cameras. Mm -hmm. And here are some of the reunion pictures as well. 
Yeah. Taken in subsequent years, color photographs. Yeah, we've been to a few reunions, not too many, a few. Yeah. yeah. And here are some of the pictures overseas in Italy of the, of the soldiers in the war. Wow, there's lots of, lots of good. Is that in, uh, that is a German camera. Oh. That's my buddy. He was taking the pictures. Mm -hmm. He said the German didn't need that camera anymore. Uh -huh. well, I'm glad you collected it. So your friend is, you got some <laughs> extra pictures. This is good. So all, all those pictures were taken with that German camera. Well, it's a good camera. It uh, took nice, clear, crisp mm -hmm. photographs over, overseas. Well, them Germans had some very good equipment. Mm -hmm. They had some very good rifles, too. Mm -hmm. And good machine guns. Mm -hmm. and good big guns. Mm -hmm. That's for interesting. And here's some more. These are the mountains that yeah. we, we took from the Germans mm -hmm. and that we lived on for months. Right. It's very rough terrain, lots of rocks there and high. We mountain. were mountain troops. Right. We enjoyed it up there. We liked it in the mountains. Mm -hmm. You could get out of sight very easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can see that. And you've got some of the peaks here identified and all that, so... Wow. Oh, here's a picture of your friend Jack Knight. Yeah, and there you are. Mm -hmm. There's Jack Knight. That little procedure was pasted on our, some of our dead soldiers' foreheads. That's right. Where that's, that came from. That's the uh, emblem. Jack Knight and Jack Furman and Jack Sweet, mm -hmm. three good friends. Yeah. I think Jack Knight died, didn't he? I don't know. And here are some more pictures at the ranch here and some of the military. Oh, and here's some more pictures taken overseas with that German camera again. Mm -hmm. Southern France. Wow. Yeah, so some very interesting pictures here, sir. So thank you for letting us have a look at it. That's fantastic. It must have been quite an emotional journey going back in 2010. Is that a very interesting trip when mm -hmm. we went back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not quite as interesting as the first one, but... No. Felt a little safer, though. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, I don't know. There's some pretty wild women over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Didn't you catch one? Catch <laughs> <laughs> one. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Mr. Plancher, for all your help in, uh, with the, the video here and offering your, some of your memories about the war. I didn't do anything, just sat here. Well, you, well, you, you, you offered your history and everything else, and this is much appreciated. And we thank you for your participation in the war as well, in both the Pacific and the European fronts. That was very commendable of you and very brave, and it helped make the, the country that we have. That, how brave. Well, I think it is, so. Do you realize that the government has come and said, you get to Calgary uh -huh. and get in that line up there. Uh -huh. And now all of a sudden you are in the army. Uh -huh. You are not behind the plow. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. never get rich. You uh -huh. work hard. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of hard work. Thank so you. a lot of this volunteer was, uh, you either volunteered or you were in anyway. So mm -hmm. what the hell, you may as well volunteer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you, the efforts of you and your your friends to make sure that Canada is a free country today. So we really appreciate all right. that you've done and all that. So. Well, yeah. thanks for going to the trouble to come out here. Thank you, sir. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. We really appreciate the help back. So. I just noticed this to plan sure, here. Yeah. You have a gorgeous picture here of the first special service force. This is a commemorative picture that you got from the... This, what is it? It's a that commemorative. Picture. Yeah. Could, would you be okay if we scanned that, take oh, a picture yeah. of that? Yeah, you can take a picture of everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's nothing sacred, there's nothing Oh, well, it's all secret, it's all good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we can tie it up. Okay. 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 Don't have a picture of me. Hey, sculptures is with my daughter. She is a... Oh. Oh, wow. I don't know what the hell color, but she builds that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Runs us. We got the eleven o'clock time. We were just getting that eleven o'clock chime. Yes, recording that.